Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Captain AJ here with AB Soul Adventures. I got George here helping me, a good friend of mine. He's going to help me um, put these uh, splash rails on. We've already got one on on the uh, port side, so we're going to do a kind of a how-to video, um, a how-to video to show you what we did for the port side on the starboard side. There's really no videos for these Hamilton uh, splash rails, so I think this would be a pretty good video for for a lot of people to see and, and utilize. Uh, the first one laid in pretty good. We still had to come back in and caulk the back side of it, but we just got it uh, laid in there right now, letting the sun kind of absorb the heat. So that way it, it sits in nice and tight, and then we'll come back in and seal it up. We're going to come in and cut in our, our pre-drilled holes. They're going to be countersunk as well. We're using number 14 screws, uh, stainless steel screws, and then using a 5200 compound on the back backside. Uh, we're spacing uh, each screw one foot apart. Boy, that pencil shows up a lot better in the in the shade. The shade. Yeah, I mean it jumps right out there in the shade. So we have our holes laid out here. The first one we've come back about an inch and a quarter for our first hole, but then after that we're at twelve inches. After that, we're using number. 14 screws is that what we're using yeah on number 14 stainless steel screws yeah uh, so we're going to pre-drill our rub our spray rail with a quarter inch drill bit here and then we're going to back it up with a half inch paddle bit allowing our fastener to sink down into the spray rail approximately a third of the way and it embeds into the hole probably about i would say seven eighths five eighths of an inch something like that yeah we had a good you know half inch on the back side and, so, and then that all get backed up with sealant on the back and then each fastener will have sealant as they go through and then we'll cap off the holes with some black sealant. So. Then when you're drilling your hole, you want to kind of end up on the center of the back part of the spray rail here. So you kind of want to go in on about a five to 10 degree angle there. Then we have some blue painter's tape on our drill bit here as a makeshift depth gauge so we don't go too deep into the spray rail. Be careful to be quick and not too slow so you don't melt the PVC that the rubber is made out of. Then just, there we go. So we'll repeat that process about. 12 more times. <laughs> yep. This is the finished product that we're looking for where it is uh, countersunk in there. Good thing I checked. So we have all the holes pre-drilled. We've got the, um, the uh, splash rail kind of uh, propped up with these stands on the starboard side here. And we have our line from the uh, stern. It, this way it matches the other side on the port side. And this is the top, this is the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and start pre-drilling our holes and uh, where it is uh, secure up against the hole here. This is a two-man job, so I'm going to set the camera up a little back a little bit further. We'll try to uh, talk through what we're doing and how we're walk, working through the problem here. Um, and uh, we'll set it up like that. All right, here we go. The drill bit that we're using for the, uh, the pilot hole is a 7.30 seconds. 
for a number 14 screw. Yeah, for number 14 screw. So we're placing the spray rail just about a 32nd of an inch off the bottom of the chine. That's pretty good. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I, I didn't go all the way no, through. No. I thought it was, but because there was a gap, yep. it looked like it was, but it wasn't. Right, cool. It's all good. Can we come back down and get that level with you? Uh, I think that the second one, I probably, I probably got it right here. You think so? Yeah, because I mean, I got this. Is there's okay. not enough weight on it right here, so I'm good here. We're just using number 14 stone steel screws and I'm hand tightening them in there instead of drilling them in there. Uh, that way we don't overstrip or um, you know break a screw off. The other thing is be mindful about what's behind where you're screwing into. We have the fuel tank space back here, so we're inside the boat and outside the boat, making sure that we don't pierce any of the bulkhead into the hole. Laying in pretty good. It's uh pulling really nice and tight alongside the uh, hole here. Looks really good. Well, I think too that we since we we did leave this one out in the sun. Yeah. For uh, yeah, it's a few a good, hours. That's a good point. Yeah, we left this one in the sun, which allowed it to heat up, and it's it's actually laying in a little little easier than the other one. Because we started off this morning at like 50 degrees. I yeah. Think is where we were. Yep. Every bit of 50. Oh, yeah. All right, so up to this point, we've got them laid in really nice and smooth. We're going to go ahead and take the heat gun and then start working our curve around to the bow. Tighten up really, really good right there. 
we'd pull, apply a little bit of heat to it. Perfect, right there. Okay. Ready? Yep. Just slightly, you know, put it in and maybe hit it with some heat as we go in yeah. if we need to. Yeah, let's give this one a little more heat before we go really reefing on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Right. You want to do it? You want to hold, hold it? I'll do it. Yeah, I'll hold it. I don't want to let it yeah. off all the way. Because it's kind of making a turn and twisting at the same time when it comes right here. Yeah, I would say like from, from like right here to here. You want to do that? Sure. Remember this was the screw hole on, on the other side where it oblonged because it's making that hard turn. <clears throat>
like it. in there you want to yeah. let's not heat it maybe yeah. and then maybe the last time we heated it yeah. so we're going to heat it and then slowly tighten it as we go in it's pretty tight all right guys turned out pretty well turned out really nice um flip around here so it's a little bit of gap right here so what we just did on this side this one's been in the sun sitting and was able to lightly you know uh give it pressure and tighten the uh, screw up and then get a lot of this uh, gap out i'll do the same thing for this the longer it sits in the sun it'll soften a little bit and allow this to, to uh, be a little bit more pliable and uh, come uh, along the hole so you know if need be i can always hit a little bit more heat too but going down the side she looks really really good So this is a 26-foot uh, Shamrock 1999 model, uh, a 26 open center console, and these uh, these are Hamilton PVC, 2-inch PVC uh, rub rails or splash rails, and they're 20 feet long. All right, let's go call it from this. We just wanted to do a real quick uh, kind of a how-to video. Um, we looked on uh, online and YouTube and really couldn't find any any videos of like how to install these Hamilton uh, splash rails. So so this is a first set that I've uh, installed myself. Um, big big uh, thanks to George here helping me out and it uh, looks pretty good. So um, uh, this actually wasn't that hard. Um, we're gonna let it sit probably for I don't know at least a day or two here in the sun and then really you know get nice and tight along the hole. And once it kind of like forms and applies to the hole, we'll come back in, pull the screws out, and then um, hit it with some marine sealant on the inside and uh, seal it up. And then I'll be ready to paint. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. All right, guys. So it's been a couple days since we've uh, we've installed the uh, splash rails. I flipped around here to show you what we've done so far. So we've let them sit for the last two days. We just outlined it with uh, tape. The next step is to take the splash rails off and then seal them with 5200. So we're going to pull them off and then go ahead and seal the back side. Today we've got uh, three helping us out. We got myself, Danny, and then George. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and work together and get this stuff knocked out. All right, the next step, we're going to take uh, and uh, clean the surface with a uh, de-waxer surface prep. And I'm going to go through with a rag and wipe everything down. So you already put the solvent on, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Marine Sillet, guys, we're using this uh, Marine Sillet. It's made by Better Boat. It's real uh, similar to a uh, 5200, uh, and it's a little cheaper. I think like $10 a uh, canister, but it has the same properties. After seven days, you can paint it and sand and paint it. So uh, we use it inside. We're going to use it on the outside as well. So it's uh, below and uh, above the water line. So here we'll start adding our bead. We're going to add it to the side of the hole here, but then we're not going to add a lot. We're just going to add a slight like 18th or eighth of an inch bead circle around each hole and work our way down. We're not looking to get a whole lot of squeeze out out of the back of this spray rail because it is going to be sealed from the top as well before it gets painted. So this is just for watertight integrity of the hole right here. And to keep stuff off the back side of it. This stuff has a little bit of a sag to it, so I'm going to actually apply it higher than the center of the rub rail. So by the time we get over here, it'll hopefully not drip on us too bad. And we're going to put sealant on the screws before we put them in as well. Yeah, I'd be using a lot more sealant than that. <laughs> I think we're good with five tubes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little goes a long way with this stuff, you know? It does. But if a little works, then a whole lot works. <laughs> <laughs> then you just end up cleaning it all off. extra here at the tip because that's where it's going to be taking all of its pressure all right so we're going to take the uh each screw and um we're going to coat the uh the the end of the screw with uh the uh, marine sillet before we go in just like when we originally put them in we're going back in with a screwdriver by hand so we don't want to over tighten or break a uh, bolt or screw off in there just going to hold it up to it i'm going to put the first first screw in and then we'll go around Oh, I should have blew those things out. It'll just become part of the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, gives a little bit of fiber or glassing. That's it. That's strength. Seal the top of the spray rail with a bead of marine sealant here. Let's see if we can be not too messy with it. If you see, you've got the tip cut at a 45, about the right size to fit into that channel. So hopefully things go well. Be able to just ease it in there really nice. This stuff's good. This stuff's a little thin. Should have put some tape on the splash rail too, but and the 
man, this stuff is super thin. All right, so we're going to uh, do the starboard side now. We've got this taped up a little bit better than we did the other side, which is a little bit cleaner for us, so it should work a little bit better. So we uh, tape the uh, spray rail as well as the top. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit it with the uh, marine sealant and get this side uh, sealed up. We've already wiped it down with the uh, cleaner. Here we go with the sealant. Seal in the rest of the spray rail with some marine sealant. We've got all of our tape up here, so it should give us a nice job when we're all done. We're gonna lay a bead in here. Just like this. And then you can come over after you lay your bead in with a glove finger or a popsicle stick or something to give you the profile on your bead and then peel your tape off while your sealant's wet and it'll give you a good edge. So you just start and just try to keep it as like smooth as possible. Yeah, don't shove your finger in there, just place it lightly so you're just barely touching the silicone. Mm -hmm. Or the sealant, anyway. And this stuff's getting... It's already skin enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff flashes off quick. Mm -hmm. It's not very smooth. Mm-hmm. Here, try to... Yeah, it's not come... very smooth. Yeah, well, you see, it, it'll... It'll level itself it, It'll bit. level like there, but you got to get a good level <clears> with it, okay? So like... Um, I didn't know the skin and smear. a little, little bit more pressure yeah. to it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize it was skin enough. Sorry. That's yeah, perfect. yeah, right there. I didn't want to push too hard the first time. I mean, really, worst thing you're doing is just pushing it deeper in there. Yeah. You're not going to really dig it out because there's going to there's going to be excess. We're going to pull that excess off. So that's starting to lay back down. So. That's fine. And you could always go up the very, you know, kind of go past it and then work your way back, but lightly go over. doing good it's it levels out too once yeah, you touch it yeah i noticed it's starting to it'll do it just kind of clumpy because it... mm -hmm. You can take some of that, like kind of where it is, a little bit. You take some more of that on your finger and then kind of re wipe it in there. Right here. Yeah, just go, yeah, start there and then go backwards. There you go. Long strokes. Yeah, there you go. Well, you, did, you just added more product mm -hmm. to it. So now that the sealant's been laid in, we went back over the sealant to smooth it out. And now we're going to pull the tape off. I'm going to pull the bottom tape off because as I peel it this way, if I did the top one and then peeled this one, there's a risk I could get this up on that finish. And then we're going to pull it off and you want to 
you want to pull, pull it at like a 45 degree as close as you can get that way you're cutting the sealant this one this sealant has been flashing off really fast been skinning up on us really fast so we may have to play with it looks like that's going to be our best our best angle yeah. you really want to get to it while it's wet it'll peel up better for you but this is self leveling so it'll it should level itself out pretty good. I think you can see, mm -hmm. see what we're getting out of the back side of it. It looks, looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it's already leveling out already. Well, guys, we got both sides on. Uh, it laid out really nice. Um, definitely um, using the tape and laying down the uh, sealant really helped out a lot, especially kept it a lot cleaner um, than not having it and just using your finger to wipe it up. Uh, after seven days, we can lightly sand it, and then we can go ahead and, and prime it and paint it. Um, so pretty much the work for that is done. We'll let it probably sit two, three hours and we're going to come back in with a screwdriver and just slightly tighten it up just to kind of really get a good seal on it. I'm George Marsden with Marsden Custom Boats. Came out here today to help AJ put on these spray rails. Um, and it's something that anybody can really do. Uh, screwing into the side of the boat's always a, always a worrisome, you know, project for most. But once you get it down and you get, you know, you do it a couple times and you learn what to look for, you can, you know, do this kind of thing yourself on a weekend with a couple buddies.